Hey basic travelers, welcome to Travel Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about 0% APR and balance transfer cards. Before we get into it though, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel, give us a like and a um, turn on those notifications, we really appreciate it. 0% APR cards are just like they sound, so basically what they do is they give you a set time period for no interest, usually it's for 6, 12, 18, sometimes up to 24 months, that's pretty rare, but what happens is if you have a large purchase coming up, um, you can use a zero interest credit card to get no interest for whatever the term period is that you signed up for. What I really like about these offers is usually when I have a big purchase like home renovations or something like that, if I know I'm, I might not be able to pay it off right away but I can pay it off within that selected time frame, it's great for that to avoid paying any interest. Um, one of the things I do want to note though is let's say you have a 12 month 0% APR card and it starts from January 1st, 2021 to December 31st, 2021. Um, you're, let's say you make a purchase in June, June 1st of 2021. You are only going to have six months left of that 0% APR. So it doesn't reset. It is just a flat. It ends at December 31st, 2021. And at that point, what you would want to do if you don't haven't paid it off, you could opt into doing a balance transfer. So balance transfer cards work pretty similar, except for they pay off existing credit card balances. What I really like about these is they give you, again, that same kind of set time frame, but it's a one-time kind of, almost like a loan. So it's a one-time balance transfer. Usually there's a balance transfer kind of period. So if you have multiple cards that you wanna pay off, you're able to pay off all of the cards within whatever time frame and then you get 0% interest for whatever the term of the month is. So if you had a 0% APR card and then you wanted to do a balance transfer from that, you could do that. Do note though that balance transfer cards have a fee. So it's usually anywhere from one, two, three, up to 5%, usually around two or 3% is pretty average. I always look for a the lowest um, percent or like fee that they would charge for that balance transfer. So usually this, ba this balance transfer fee isn't as much money as you would pay on interest. So it, it typically is super beneficial for you when you need to pay off a high interest credit card or loan or something like that. Um, I'll give you a quick example. When I was in college, I studied abroad and I took out a loan and you know, I was in my early 20s. I didn't understand how loans worked, how interest worked. And over the next 10 years, I made the minimum payment. I know I cringe thinking about it now with how much I know about credit cards and finances, but I literally paid the minimum payment for over 10 years, or I don't even know if I was paying it every month because I think they were offering like a, um, for a deferment. And I'm pretty sure I used to take them because I was like, oh cool, I don't have to pay this. Well, little did I understand that I was just collecting interest and interest and not paying anything or paying very little on the loan. So over the next 10 years, I paid back the loan. It was a $10,000 loan and I still essentially owed the bank this like $9,750 or something like that. It was insane. I was so shocked that I literally paid off, I paid $10,000 worth of interest only basically. So eventually what I decided to do is transfer it to a 0% balance transfer card and I paid the origination fee, whatever that was, and I was I just worked on paying that off it. Um, I just wanted to share that story with you guys because sometimes you don't realize how much or how much better options are out there. You know, if someone had told me when I was in my early 20s, I would have probably saved myself $10,000 or, or even like $8,000 or something. But there's definitely ways to get yourself out of debt. So if you are in debt and you needed a way to kind of get out, zero interest APR cards for number one, if you have an emergency coming up or something, a big purchase you need to pay for. And then number two is those balance transfer cards. If you have some credit cards right now with high interest, 
I would try doing a balance transfer. Do note though, if you have high balances on your credit cards currently, it might be really hard to get approved because banks don't like seeing if your credit is totally maxed out. So you might have to get a loan or something like that first to pay off the cards. And then if you wanted to look into doing a balance transfer like I did, or just make sure that you are paying the loan on time to make sure you don't overextend yourself. So really, I think there is, you know, zero interest cards and balance transfer cards are really an awesome, awesome way to get out of debt quicker if you're in debt or just like right now the holidays are coming up. So it's a great time to use a 0% APR card that you could get your Christmas gifts on or whatever if you just know you need like an extra month or two or whatever to pay them. Um, I'm not advocating for just spending mindlessly. This is usually something that we would use for emergencies if you didn't have cash saved up or something like that. Um, but it, there are options out, out there if you need them. So that's all I wanted to say about that. And I do wanna say a quick note, I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that. So take it for what you will. I just wanted to give some advice on how you could pay off any high interest card balances if you don't know how. There are a bunch of options. So definitely be sure to look into that. If you're looking for a credit card that has a 0% APR or a balance transfer credit card, you could check below in our comments. We'll leave you the link there. We appreciate it if you use our links when you're applying. We get a small commission and it helps support our blog to keep it up and running. And we want to give you some more great travel tips and news and we hope that it's really helpful to you. If you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comments and we'll get back to you on those answers. And yeah, and I guess that's going to be our travel tip Tuesday for the week. I know it's not really a travel tip, but we're a travel and finance kind of points blog. And if you haven't checked us out, be sure to check us out on our Facebook page. You could go to the link below and um, join our Facebook group. We're always talking about different finance and travel tips and hacks in there. So be sure to join us in there and we'll see you next week, basic travelers. Have a great night.